to do in Asakusa. 39 recommended spots. Samurai Junjiro Channel. Hi, I'm Akane Maru, born and raised in Japan. This time, we'll introduce 39 recommended spots, including restaurants in Asakusa. Asakusa is accessible via three train lines Tobu Sky Tree Line, Ginza Line, and Asakusa Line. If you take the Narita Sky Access Line from Narita Airport, you can go to Asakusa Station on the Asakusa Line in about an hour without any transfers. You can take the Ginza Line from Shibuya Station and arrive without any transfers in about 35 minutes. Now, let's get started! First up is the Asakusa Sumo Club. It's a restaurant that opened in January 2024, where you can enjoy a meal while watching sumo. You can also enjoy Japanese cuisine without watching sumo. There are seats around the sumo ring and prices vary depending on the location. The cheapest seats cost 16,000 yen and include a course, meal, and one drink. The sumo shows are held each day at 12 p.m., 3 p.m., and 6 p.m. Meals and show times last about two hours. You can enjoy both the meal and the show without a reservation if seats are available. The link to the official website is in the description box. It also supports languages other than English, and you can make reservations. At this restaurant, they provide entertaining explanations of sumo rules and more in English. So if you want to experience Japanese culture, you should visit. In addition to this place, there are other attractions in Asakusa where you can experience Japanese culture. This place is the Samurai Ninja Museum, which opened in December 2023. You can experience being a samurai or a ninja for about an hour with an admission fee of 3,300 yen. If you want a more casual ninja experience, Jikukan is recommended. You can experience it starting from 500 yen. You can use it without making a reservation. The Google Maps link is in the description box. Adding it to your favorites will make your travels more convenient. Next is Ekimise, a commercial facility directly connected to Asakusa Station on the Tobu Skytree Line. The rooftop of this building is a hidden gem and recommended spot. You can see the Tokyo Skytree from there, and there are benches available for dining. There are also restrooms and trash cans. Asakusa doesn't have many places to take a break, so this place is recommended. In this commercial facility, there is Seria, a 100 yen shop. It's a recommended shop for buying souvenirs because the products are inexpensive and of good quality. A specialty store for model trains and toys called Popondetta is also popular. There are lots of cute items for children. Ichiran is located right in front of Asakusa Station on the Tobu Skytree Line. Ichiran typically has seats separated for each person, but this store also offers table seating for groups of two or four. It's also convenient for those with small children to visit. Next is the Sumidogawa River. It's about a three-minute walk from Asakusa Station. It's also famous as a cherry blossom spot. Sumida Park, located across the river, is also bustling with many people. You can also enjoy meals and drinks there. Tokyo Skytree is about a 10-minute walk from here. It's recommended to come on weekdays because the admission tickets for the Skytree Observation Deck are more expensive on weekends and holidays. Solamachi Shotengai is located at the base of the Skytree, and there are many restaurants where you can enjoy delicious food. Next is Tokyo Rakutenchi Asakusa Building, located about a 10-minute walk from Asakusa Station. On the first floor, there is a Uniqlo. They sell the Asakusa exclusive t-shirts that are not available in other stores. 
Next to Uniqlo, there is Marugoto Nippon, which gathers food items from various parts of Japan. You can buy rare items and sake that are not available in Tokyo. The miso nikomi udon, popular in Nagoya, is delicious. It's sold as dried noodles, so it's perfect for souvenirs. On the fourth floor of this building, there is Asakusa Yokocho, which has seven restaurants. It's indoors, so it's recommended for rainy days. One thing you must try at Asakusa Sushi is the salmon roe sushi. Salmon roe and yam go well together. At the yakitori specialty shop Yura Yura, we recommend trying the assorted yakitori sets, which offer a variety of types. Try it with beer! The grilled eel skewers at Izumo, the eel specialty shop, are delicious with their rich flavor. A dish where eel is sandwiched between rice is also popular. In this building, there is Sushiro, a popular conveyor belt sushi restaurant. You can enjoy sushi at this store starting from 150 yen per plate. During lunchtime, there is a line, so you can get in smoothly without waiting around 3 p.m. There is Don Quixote located right in front of this building. It's open 24 hours and offers a wide variety of character merchandise and snacks. If you want to get tax-free services, you need to go to a dedicated cash register, so keep that in mind. You can enjoy freshly fried karaage at Tokyo Asakusa Chicken located outside Don Quixote. The outside is crispy and the inside is juicy and flavorful. By the way, there is a store around here where you can buy snacks cheaper than at Don Quixote. It's called OK Asakusa, a supermarket. They have the most inexpensive prices in this area and offer a wide variety of snacks, including Kit Kats. Next is a commercial facility called Asakusa Rocks. There is a Kura Sushi on the fourth floor. It's different from other stores, featuring a stylish Japanese-style design. The sushi prices start from 150 yen per plate, similar to those at Sushiro. The Three Coin Plus on the second floor is a highly popular store. They sell kitchenware and bath products starting from 300 yen. Let us briefly introduce three particularly popular items. This container is a product that can cook rice in the microwave. It's convenient and easy to use. This is a container that you can make instant ramen in the microwave. You can cook without using a pot, and since you can eat the ramen directly from this container, it reduces the amount of dishes to wash. This warabi mochi has an expiration date of about 3 months, making it perfect as a souvenir. You can enjoy the same taste as eating it at a specialty shop. On the third floor, there is a muji. It's larger than other stores and has a wide variety of products. The kitchen scissors are a recommended item. You can disassemble them for washing, making it easy to keep them clean. The curry, which can be simply heated in a pot, is delicious. It contains large cuts of beef and has a rich flavor like demigla sauce. On the fourth floor, there is a Daiso, a hundred yen shop. It's larger than Seria, which we mentioned earlier, and has a wide variety of products. This is a product that allows you to make potato chips in the microwave. It gives a crispy texture without using oil. It's recommended for those on a diet because it's healthy. Next is Kaminarimon. During the daytime, it's crowded, but you can take photos without people in the middle of the night or early in the morning. Beyond the Kaminarimon is Nakamise Dori Street. This street has over 80 food and souvenir shops. They also sell t-shirts with kanji characters. 
Let us briefly introduce three recommended shops in this area. First up is Azuma. It's a specialty shop for kiwi dango, which is mochi coated with soybean flour, and it's always bustling with many people. Next is Kuroge. The menchikatsu at this shop is filled with plenty of cheese and has a rich flavor. Next is Yohei. It's a specialty shop for dango, and you can enjoy one for 170 yen. It's delicious! When you proceed down Nakamisedori Street, you will reach Sensoji Temple. It's great to visit during the daytime, but at night, it's illuminated with lights, creating a magical atmosphere. For your information, the shops along Nakamisedori Street start closing around 6 p.m., so we recommend finishing your shopping before then. We'll briefly explain how to draw an omikuji, a paper fortune. First, you put 100 yen in here. Shake the box of omikuji and take out one stick. There is a number written in kanji on it. You take one omikuji from the drawer where the kanji matches what is written on the stick. If it's bad luck, let's not take it home and instead fold it and tie it up here. It's easy, so give it a try. Next, we'll introduce a place where you can see Sensoji Temple and Kaminarimon from above. It's the Osaksa Culture Tourist Information Center located in front of the Kaminarimon. It's the Tourist Information Center and there are restrooms available. On the seventh floor, you'll find exhibitions about history and culture, and the observation deck is on the eighth floor. It's open from 9 a.m. to 10 p.m., and admission fee is free. In Asakusa, we recommend sightseeing by rickshaw. There are various companies operating, but we recommend Tokyo Rickshaw. Prices start at 2,500 yen per person. There are several staff near Kaminarimon, so feel free to ask them. They are all very friendly, so don't worry. Next up is Hanayashiki. It's an amusement park that opened in 1853. It's the oldest amusement park in Japan, where you can experience a retro atmosphere. The one-day pass is 2,800 yen, and admission tickets are 1,200 yen. It's a place enjoyable for children as well. At the Dom Dom Burger, located outside Hanayashiki, they offer a special menu item exclusive to this location. It's a Wagyu croquette burger. It's freshly fried, so it's hot and crispy. The flavor of the Wagyu goes well with potatoes, making it delicious. Next to Hanayashiki, there is a capsule toy store. You can enter even without an amusement park ticket. There are 750 capsule toy machines, and it's the largest store in the Asakusa area. Next up is Hopidori Street. It's lined with izakayas where you can enjoy alcohol from daytime, but even those who don't drink can enjoy delicious dishes. We'll briefly introduce three particularly recommended places among them. First, let's start with tsukushi. You can eat monjayaki, a specialty food of Tokyo, at a reasonable price. Next is motsukushi. It's recommended for grilled skewers of pork liver and tongue, which go perfectly with alcohol. Next is suzuyoshi. The simmered beef tendon at this place melts in your mouth. It has a subtle spiciness, but it's delicious. If you like alcohol, you should go there. Beyond Happy Dory Street, there is a recommended hotel. It's Onyado Nono. It's the most popular hotel in this area. The rooms are designed in a Japanese style, creating a relaxing atmosphere. There is an onsen, and it will make your skin smooth. Breakfast is buffet style with a wide variety of dishes. 
A seafood bowl topped with plenty of salmon roe is very luxurious. At night, you can enjoy ramen for free. It's flavored with soy sauce and delicious. It's a popular hotel, so we recommend making a reservation early. There is a link to the hotel's official website in the description box. There is a yakiniku-like located in the shopping street of Asakusa. At this restaurant, each table is partitioned for individual use, making it easy to enjoy yakiniku even if dining alone. They offer yakiniku set meals with rice and soup starting from 580 yen. If you want to enjoy all-you-can-eat yakiniku, Yakiniku King is recommended. It's the most popular yakiniku restaurant in Japan. The all-you-can-eat price starts from 3,058 yen. If you want to know more about this restaurant, please watch the video we posted earlier. It shares detailed information about the prices and courses. Kappabashi Shopping Street is located about a 10-minute walk from Kaminariman. It's an area with many shops selling tableware and kitchenware. Japanese knives have sharp edges and last a long time, so it's better to buy them at Kappabashi. Finally, we'll introduce Asakusa Gyukatsu. It's a popular beef cutlet specialty restaurant with a long line every day. They offer only one menu item, and the price varies depending on the amount of the meat. The restaurant is divided into the first floor and the basement, but you wait in the same line. It's a small restaurant with 11 seats on the first floor and 9 seats in the basement, totaling 20 seats. By the way, we started lining up at 2.10 p.m. on a weekday, and we got in at 4.20 p.m., so it took us 2 hours and 10 minutes. According to the staff, if you come around 4 p.m. on weekdays, you can often get seated within 30 to 40 minutes, so going at that time might reduce the weight. This sauce is based on soy sauce and has a refreshing taste. This one has a wasabi flavor. It's not spicy but has a pleasant aroma. The meat melts in your mouth. It has fat but isn't heavy and the aftertaste is refreshing. When grilled on this stone plate, it becomes crispy and has a texture similar to steak. You have to wait in line to get in, but it's really delicious so it's worth trying. Well, that's all for today. See you in the next video. Bye-bye!